Happy Halloween, you guys. My name is Zena, and I'm Aging Ethically, also known as the Halloween Queen. My friend Gabriel Grimm created this image, the Halloween Queen, for my very, very first creation for my merch line this year. A few videos back, I launched said merch line, and I thought it would be only fitting to do the actual look from the merch line for Halloween this year. So thank you, Gabriel, for this creation. She's so ghoulishly glam and vintage, vampy. I love her so, so much, and I'm going to keep this red bubble design up year round. I'm going to be adding some more designs as well, and they're going to be vegan themed, of course. Those of you who are just joining, uh, this is a vegan channel, but it's for everyone. I like to review vegan and cruelty-free makeup. Hello. <laughs> and this look is 100% vegan and cruelty-free. I also like to review vegan food, and I like to share my experiences at farm animal sanctuaries as a volunteer. So sit back, relax, grab some spooky ooky treats and watch me create this ghoulish little Halloween queen look. Now, I have already glued and powdered my eyebrows. This is a drag queen approved technique, but I used the Elmer's, this is that purple washable school glue. And basically you just do several layers of this and you allow each layer to dry and then you just powder the heck out of it. I used Makeup Revolution Translucent Powder to set my brows. And I am about 90% sure this is vegan. I'm 100% sure this is cruelty-free. And of course the Makeup Revolution is vegan and cruelty-free. And now we're ready for foundation. I'm going to use the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. And I'm also going to use the Makeup Murder Neon Green Poison Pigment. I'm really happy with the way this foundation has turned out. It's perfectly monstrous. It's a nice muted green. It's not like super neon. I put some powder on top of it as well to set it. And now I'm gonna do my eyes. I'm going to be using two palettes, which I've really been loving lately. The Spoiled Cosmetics Palette Club palette that was recently sent to me. And then the Raw Beauty Christie and Pure Cosmetics palette as well. We're gonna start off with a transition shade which is this lilac purple here. And then I'm going to be going into Raw Beauty Christy and Pure Cosmetics palette. She has a really beautiful purple shade that I'm going to be using on my lids. All right, I'm so excited, let's do this. I'm smoking out underneath my eyes with a NYX black eyeliner. And then I'm going to use the Spoiled Lips Cosmetics Rest in Peace My Youth palette and uh, this lovely dark matte shade of black right here. Okay, super pleased with how the eyes have turned out. And now I'm going to do the very thin little black brows. And that's it, really tiny, subtle little brow. I'm gonna go ahead and try to recreate this on the other side.
Next, I'm gonna move on to my lips. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Liquid Matte Lipstick, and this is in the shade Vampy Violet, and it's absolutely delightful. It almost looks black, but it has like a slight little purplish hue to it. And now for the super fun part of applying my neck bolts. <laughs> Just gonna hold them in place for a little bit. <laughs> this is so much fun, you guys. I'm gonna fix my lipstick, I'm gonna play with my hair for a little bit, and I'll be right back with the finished look. What do you think? Oh, I'm so in love with this look. Look at my little bolts, you guys. <laughs> my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are all aging underscore ethically. Good night, my little boils and ghouls. Happy, happy, happy Halloween. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>